Hey guys, it's Taze from Install Bay. We're going to refurbish this BRZ. So stay tuned. So what we have in here today is a Subaru BRZ. The customer has a stereo already in it. It's a pretty nice stereo. Unfortunately, the installation he's not real happy with. So he wants us to just go through the whole car and rewire it, make it better. He also wants to take the passive crossovers out uh, because he just has a front stage and he's got a Pioneer 4800. So we're gonna go network mode. Anytime we start one of these, the first thing we wanna do, especially if it has an amplifier, is disconnect it from the battery uh, so that we don't have a live four gauge in the car. So let's go inside and see what we're dealing with. So what do we got? We have a zip tie holding the tweeter. Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna take the tweeters and move them up to the factory location. Yeah. Which is up there. So are we doing anything to the doors? Uh, yes, we wanna do roll kill, uh, fast rings, Okay, that'll that'll Security. good. Yeah. What kind of speakers does he have? That's the high energy. All right, let's take a look in the trunk. Okay. All right, so we got some crossovers just chilling. One is here. The other one, it's buried, all the way back. Buried behind the box. Yeah. Um. Then we got a nice Alpine PDX V9. Yes, sir. All right. So I'm guessing we're gonna have to make a mount for that. We're taking those crossovers out, and of course we need to fix all this wiring. Whenever you're taking out something that has screws like this or an amplifier and you loosen them up, make sure you tighten them back up while you're servicing it. Don't leave these loose thinking you're going to come back and hook it up. That's how you lose these screws and finding replacements for them sucks. He's got an auto EQ mic just laying in his trunk. Yeah, I saw that one. Oh, that's cool. One of the reasons why anytime you're replacing an install or fixing something, why we always say we need to rewire everything is because of stuff like this. So this is something you wouldn't see because it's underneath the seat and the beginning of the wire looks like this and this is in the middle. So it's just easier to pull all the stuff out and replace it with good stuff. all these wires out you want the, the RCAs too right? I want the RCAs so let's get this out let's get the remote turn on out and then I'm gonna go grab the uh, the USB the USB give me any of the scrap wire I don't want it laying on the floor I don't want to trip over it Fix this. They pulled the factory grommet, so I'm gonna pull the door out, fix it. Okay, so we've removed the factory amplifier that was located right here. And what we're gonna do is relocate the PDX V9 to the same spot. We're gonna mount it in this direction. Nice, we could see beneath the car they have these cool grommets we could remove so we can make sure. We're gonna put in some uh, rivets to screw the amp down to. Um, we're gonna have, there's a hole here that the wire can run through. We do have to remove these two screws, no big deal here. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna, this is a good spot. So we'll put the amp here. We've removed all the wiring from the car that was put in. We're gonna see what we can recycle. And we're going to start fresh. Fresh. Let's get, <laughs> so here it goes, man. 
we're ready to, to move on. So tweeters are always a little tricky trying to figure out which is positive and which is negative. They don't always mark these so well, like sometimes the stripe's positive, sometimes the stripe's negative. So what I like to do is take the PT9A. This generates a phase pop, and then we can hook it up to the tweeter, make a popping sound, which then we can take our phase detector, lights up green. We know that the stripe, the red stripe on this one is in fact
All right, so we got our harness all set and ready to go. Antenna adapter. Let's go put all this stuff in the car and button this up. Let's go over real quick. So we got tweeters in the doors. That's done. Amps in, fuses in. All right. You put this tweeter? Yeah. So we're to the point now where we're going to turn it on, make sure the radio works, and also do phase checking. No, you don't need to. Hey, it's pushed to start. Since we're doing network mode in this and it wasn't previously set up as network mode, the first thing we actually want to do before we do phase testing is hit restore settings. That way we can get network mode to pop up in our display screen. So now that we have the phase done and everything is in phase, what we're going to do is move on to actually tuning the system and making sure that everything is where it needs to be. It's the fun part. Okay, so we got the crossover set. Now we're going to go ahead and do the auto EQ. to a close we've got this thing sounding sweet Amazing. Um, so just to recap real quick what we got here is a pioneer 4800 some Hertz high energies yeah he's got, what was that a matte sub yeah Matt's Matt's 112 Alpine PDX V9 it. it is in network mode so we have active full active front there's no rears in this bad boy because from the factory it's just four so those are freaking useless so no reason to put those in right. we took out those power hungry passive crossover networks yeah. that, he, that he didn't even need in the first place. Because yeah. the one thing about a PDX V9 is you can actually run the amp in network mode too. The front channels has a 10 times multiplier, so you can go full active from the amp or from the radio. I know, there right? Awesome. Well, end it. All right, so thank you for watching. You guys can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And as usual, we appreciate everything you guys do. If you guys like these videos, please subscribe, like, share, tell your friends, neighbors, aunts, uncles, whoever you can think of. Yeah. I know, right? Awesome. All right, guys, you have a great night, and we will see you later next time. Bye. Bye.